everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to um, Story Time with Dre. So yeah, today someone asked me about dating single single moms. Um, should you date them? I see a lot of videos on it. I thought I'd touch on it. And to be honest, it's not all bad. But it'll be dependent upon where you live, your location, um, your age. Old man like me, you don't have many options as far as women without children once you get older. If you're a bit younger, then you don't really have to put up with it. But as you get older, it's a different thing. Um, a good thing is, <clears throat> if she has children, maybe if you have children as well, they could play together. So uh, when they go to sleep, that can be you and her time, you know. Or if you enjoy doing um, trips, family trips, um, it gives the children something to keep them occupied, something to do. You know, a lot of times if they have, say she has a brother and sister, uh, the mom has a, a son and daughter and they might fight, but just bringing in a different energy, a different child could, you know, the, the daughter can enjoy the, the other child and so can the son. So it can be beneficial. <clears throat> but um, for the most part, one of the main reasons why it's a bit harder is not to say not to date them. The question is, should you love them? And I'm going to say the same thing is, everything's at your own risk. <clears throat> if you want to love her, if you don't want to love her, it, it's, it's, it's all risk, you know. Um, just enjoy your time with her. But I will say, you will never really be a priority because you're going to come after the children, the ex, the dog, the goldfish, the gym, the hating friends, the regular friends, <clears throat> and then maybe you get 10 minutes on a, on a Thursday. Like, you just come somewhere in between there. It's never really, I don't know, you're never really a priority. And I've seen cases where <clears throat> some, some women have disowned their own children to make the man a priority. But it's rare, you know what I mean? I guess it does happen, but how often, I don't know. But it does happen. But yes, you'll never be a priority. And the next thing is the ex. The exes can always cause a problem. Let me tell you, I was seeing someone and I really liked her, yeah? <clears throat> so while we're seeing each other, the well, she's posting pictures of us and, and everything. And the ex sees she's happy. So once he sees this, here comes the devil want to destroy the happy home. He comes when uh, she had a son, yeah? The son never had a haircut. Hair down his back like Fabio. He looked like like a male Rapunzel. Like his hair was down his back. One day I said, well, cut the boy's hair. He, he don't need all this hair. So he cut his hair. He loved it. After that, she always wanted me to cut his hair. The dad didn't like that after that. Dad never wanted to cut his hair. He didn't, yeah, yeah, like Shawn Michaels. <clears throat> so dad comes. Now he take him every week to the to the barbers. Dad didn't bother with the kids before, but now they they take him to the barbers. He 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 wants to be in their life, which is good. I'm not complaining. But then one day, my birthday, matter of fact, uh, the day after my birthday, I was at her house and I went outside. <clears throat> so when I go outside, he he was actually out there. His friend lived across the road, so they approached me about four or five of them. I'm by myself. I was walking to my car in my head. I said, oh man, okay, let me just prepare myself mentally for whatever happens. So they walk up to me and they said, oh, are you seeing such and such? I won't say a name. I said, yeah. He was like, that's fine, but I don't want you around my children. Like, what do you want me to do? The children are there. She invited me. Like, should I wait till they go to bed? Like, <clears throat> so I said to him, yeah, you should be grateful. I do a lot for your children. He went mad. Oh my God! This and that start going crazy. But he never crossed that line. You know that. You know he kept the distance. He didn't even talk disrespectfully to me. But he just went mad to show off in front of his friends. His my girl at the time called the police. And then he started disrespecting her. While he was disrespecting her, <clears throat> I stuck up for us. Yo, don't talk to her like that. In my head, yeah. Something, a voice said to me, would, would she do the same for you? And I didn't know why this voice said this. Maybe it's little angels on my shoulder talking to me. I don't know. So I went in the house, 
as soon as I got in the house, the door knocked. I thought it was him. It was the police. The police come in. The police said, well, what happened? She pretended she didn't know. I, I, was, I couldn't believe it. Man, I was so upset. Like, how do you pretend you didn't know? And then after that, I didn't, like, the police left. They, it made me look like an idiot. So I didn't know what to say. Like, after that, you know, the relationship was never the same. You know, it was over just about, you know, anytime this happens and she would stick up for him and he was just happy to, after that was done, he didn't want nothing to do with it. He just wanted to break, didn't want to have fun and want us together. Or <clears throat> he, he just, yeah, after that, it was, it was, it was done. But that's what I mean. Like once the kids were involved, then the ex is involved. It's a, it's a lot harder. And then on top of that, the kids used to really like me. So they would say, oh, I love Dre or this and that. And oh, don't say that, you know, your dad will get mad. And once you're done with them, you never see little Timmy again. And, and it, it could be hurtful. So like I said, if, if you want to love, love or date, all, all of it, do it with caution. That's all I'll say. I won't say don't date single moms because you might be an like old man like me. And that's what you're left with if you're not married. Or, or in a, a serious relationship because <clears throat> and the thing is with single moms they can be fun because a lot of them are damaged they've been in abusive relationships you know men then did all types of stuff to them so they're, they're damaged damaged girls are fun you know like girls like bad guys or the ones that drive mo motorcycle with, with leather coats and stuff you see in the the, the films and stuff, but same with them, they'll, they'll be fun, they'll be open to things, try things, do things, and when when you date them, sometimes they, they their motives, you have to see what the motive is, I was seeing one, she just had a baby, and she liked me, so when she liked me, she, she, I couldn't even sleep, she's waking me up in the middle of the night, we might go out all night, and then wake me up, Three in the morning. Uh, what do you want? Give me some dread. We playing tug of war with the with, with the wood. Like we fighting for. I'm tired. I want some. Get attitude and everything. You know when they into you, they trying to lock you down. <laughs> you know once they get it, then it's a different thing. You know speaking of that, I have another one I was saying. Uh, she, she tried to make me take the the, the plastic off. Now you say, well, what's the problem? Well, the thing was, I think the whole, most of the hood was already there and I didn't want to join them, you know. At least the plastic kept some kind of, you know. So she'd get mad at me. Next thing, we wrestling for the plastic. This, this is in the middle of the set. We wrestling. Yeah, but, no, I'm not taking it off. We wrestling. The girl puts me in the razor's edge. I'm like this, like Jesus. Thought she was going to drop me. I don't know. It's like, I think when well, she put me in the razor's edge, I think my feet hit the, the window and it knocked my feet down. I jumped out the window and escaped. Yeah, I think maybe maybe an angel hit my foot. <laughs> maybe an angel hit my foot and opened the window so I can get out. But I say this to say, like, when you're dating women that are really into you, that's how it is. Like, you, you become, like, a priority. They want, they want it. They want you. They, you know, they want it all the time. But the minute that you do love then the fun's kind of over, you know, this is where, this is where it can, can stop. Um, another problem that you might face with them is a lot of the moms will let little Timmy sleep in the bed with her. Timmy would be about 12 years old, going 13, still sleep in bed with his mom. His selfish mom want him to sleep in the bed with her. Now why? Because when, an, if somebody gets in your bed, Cause he's gonna feel it's his bed. How do you feel? You you don't want no one in your bed, so you go get in the mom's bed. Now Timmy got attitude. Timmy wanted Wing Chun his mom's kneecaps. You know what I mean? Want to fight through through Xbox controller across the room. And then you get mad. And then it's the mom's fault. But you gotta pick up the pieces. You gotta deal with it. And then eventually, when you stick up for the mom, she she gonna stick up for the son. So you don't really win. This happened to me before. The one mom, she used to say, yeah, 
I don't, we don't hide nothing from, from each other. Even when we go to the toilet, she leaves the door open. The, the, the nan said, what about if you're doing a poo? She said, yeah, they're welcome. And this was the honest truth. We used to go, we kids be sleep or doing something, we go, we try to sneak, have a shower or something. The kids would just walk in. The kid didn't come out the room ever till mom went to the shower. I used to say, oh, this, why, who wants to see their mom? Like he walk in there, mom didn't pull no curtain. She just laying there with the, you know, out and he just looking. Uh, he couldn't even pee in the toilet. He looking at his mom and, and, and stuff. I used to say, oh, what kind of weird stuff is this? I see some mom, they walked around naked all the day, all the time. You say, oh, what's wrong with that? But well, the mom had moved down to her knees. Son, 13 years old, who wants to see their mom naked? Like, it's traumatizing. You see your mom with no clothes on, walk around naked all day. You know what I mean? Like, well, we don't hide nothing from each other. We need to start. Because who, no one wants to see this. You don't want to see you walking around like this, almost trip over your, your, your boobs. It's not nice, son. Your son not right in the head from this. But these are like situations you might encounter when you date these type of women. You know, these situations with Timmy in the bed, Thunder, Th Thunder Chad, the stepdad coming wanting to pass his place with you and wanting trouble bringing. All you wanted to do was just go to your car and 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 get something out of it, and you you got to fight. You know what I mean? Little Timmy hitting his mom with low leg kicks and, and having a fit. I seen the kids where they really flipped out, like throwing bricks and, and everything. I'm like, I'm leaving. Like, mom want me to go talk to him. What do you want me to say? I'm not their dad and I'm not pretending. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Like, it's your responsibility. Because like, when you stick up for them, they still don't defend you. Some of the moms, I might, but I'm talking majority. You get what I mean, you know. Some of the, some, like I said, it's not all. And it's not a case whether you should date them or not. It's a case whether you should love them. And no matter if it's a single mom or just anybody, you it's at your own risk. Everything's a risk. If you're willing to take it, and, and maybe you find love at the end, maybe you won't. But it's a risk that no one can really tell you what to do. I could share stories of what happened to me, what I've been through, but the rest, for the most part, is it, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you how you want to do it, how you want to handle the situation. You know, I, I could tell you a million single mom stories from their lives. And one thing I will say, they do like to, when they do lie, everything they do is to blame the children. And if you say something about the children, you become a horrible person. One, one mom said, her aunt died. We were supposed to do something. She said, I haven't been in contact during my, my aunt died. And she didn't even tell me nothing about this aunt dying. She replied to a story that I had posted. And, and I said, I said to her, you stood me up. And, and she didn't do it just once. She said three times, oh, my aunt died. I said, all right, man, take care. Oh, you're a horrible person. Or, or they blame the children. Oh, my daughter is sick. I have to leave. Just be honest. Leave. The door's there. Like, no, there's no gun to your head. If you want to leave, just leave. No one's forcing you to stay. But anyway, I have stuff to do. I'm done. This is my take on uh, whether or not you should date single moms. Thank you.